Pop 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 persuable. What's going on, everybody? Hi, boo boos. Y'all beautiful. Bada bing, bada boom. A lot of things I gotta do, and when I clean my room, I use a motherfucking broom. <laughs> so today I'm gonna show you my Speedy Boy Wraith build that I really like to use. I mean, I really really like using uh, this build together. Um, so essentially, the red add-on makes your bell silent, and then we have our purple add-on right there. You guys can see the names of it. It's called Windstorm. That really tremendously increases your speed. I mean, you're like a speed demon on the map. You know, you're the dude who did, who 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 ate bath salts, and then nobody could stop you in the street to Florida. I don't know where that came from. I'm not gonna lie, but it is one of my more favorite builds on mobile. I do know that I'm a, a level 36 raid, uh, but I level up all my characters uh, equally. So pretty much, I have almost every character, and all them are above level 30 or 40. Some are prestiged. However, uh, the one thing that I like about Wraith, okay, what I really like about Wraith is that he's a very strong character and he's very, very underrated. The only problem is, is that Wraith is only good with his add-ons in my opinion. Now this is rank 1 gameplay and this is not sped up. This is how fast he actually moves when he's using these abilities. Yeah, I, I have no idea what that was. I, that character should have been picked up. So that was horseshit. <laughs> but this is rank 1 gameplay. Um, you're gonna see me get juked. Uh, you're gonna see me miss some hits. That's the reality of gameplay. I love it when killers only upload their matches where they don't miss a single hit. We know that's all ridiculous. There's gonna be times where you, you make judgment calls and the survivors are very crafty. I also think it does a disservice to the YouTube community because then you have hunters uh, who, who take that incredibly hard. So this is just a regular match, guys. You're gonna miss some swings. You're gonna get some swings. Sometimes you're gonna mind game. Sometimes you're not gonna mind game. Now, I really like this build, but I genuinely think that this build is better for more advanced Wraith users. And there's a reason being so. Well, I think the reason being so is that in order for you to really maximize this build, you need to know every single part of the map. You need to know how how they play, where they're going to go, right? Because if you're a Wraith and you're using this ridiculous movement speed, moving around the map, but you don't really know what the survivors are going to do, they're just going to get you, they're just going to out position you every time, if they're good. So I do think that the, the more experienced you are, the better you're going to be with this build. Now I guess you could say that for every build, right? But the big thing here is, is that there are other builds, other YouTube videos that I have that, you know, can highlight the character. Uh, that's a really good one. Um, I'll try to put the YouTube link in, in this one. Uh, it, it, I don't know how to do that. I'm going to figure that out. So, this is really good for more advanced Wraith users. It means that you don't need them highlighted. You know where they're going to go. You know pretty much where you need to go throughout the map. There's other variations of this build. But I like this build the most because you can kind of hide your bell sound. Now, typically with Wraith, guys, when he hits that bell, it makes a sound. And that can that that pretty much sets off an alarm for all of the survivors. All right, so it means that like if you come after me and you start sounding that bell and I don't see you, it gives me a little bit of time to react to you, depending on where we are. And especially since a lot of people like to use sprint burst, that that can really waste your time. So sprint burst can be a really big counter to, to a wraith user, especially if you don't have uh, the the silent bell. All right. Now this, this, this is a, a good layout, a good build, because it really gets, gives you a lot of map pressure. Now this is also why I use Pop Goes the Weasel, and you're going to see me prioritize that right now. Uh, I, have, I have a lot of YouTube videos on all the perks that I prefer using. I do have Bamboozle, you can change that with Brutal Strength if you really want to take down pallets faster. That's perfectly permissible. Uh, I have Corrupted Intervention. Um, because I, I do like slowing the game down in the beginning and then I have saved the best for last um, Barbecue and chili is a, is a good perk to use as well. Uh, you could definitely use that. I think it would be good for you to use that I'm just not using it for this match right now for some reason I just don't feel like it. you can get rid of save the best for last and if you really want to you can put uh, barbecue and chili there 
uh, or you can get rid of bamboozle and put barbecue and chili there. I mean, it, barbecue and chili is one of the best perks in the game. Either way, it's more about a video with these add-ons and some of the good add-ons that you can use because I know that when I was a hunter, when I first started BBD PC a couple years ago, I didn't really know which add-ons to use. It was a little overwhelming. And then, on top of that, I don't know really which add-ons will work on mobile, right? Because mobile is not the same game. It's just not. Sorry to break it to y'all, but it's not. So, with that being said, some of the stuff carries over from regular Dead by Daylight, and some of it doesn't. And that's why we do these videos to really see what works and what doesn't work. Including, like, Michael Myers with his uh, scratched mirror and boyfriend's memo uh, build, which I did a video on as well. This is still a good perk. Now, what I like about this build with Wraith is that because so one of the differences how about we talk about a difference here right one of the big differences between dead by daylight mobile and dead by daylight pc is that the maps are pretty much the same there's a little bit of randomization in there but not really <laughs> so a wraith user that knows every single part of the map who has put three four hundred hours into the game i'm not talking about playing wraith but about three four hundred hours into the game just playing the game and they know everything about the maps and where all the windows are and where all the pallets are this is a very dangerous build because it's going to be very hard to cut a wraith that knows exactly what you're going to do pretty much on every aspect of the map and that's where that speed comes into play now remember guys and i did say this a little bit earlier if you're a new wraith player there are other builds there are other builds that may benefit you as well um there's builds where you can hide your red stain or your red light after you come after you come out of a reappearance so when you reappear for six seconds or whatever you have no red stain which is really helpful for you to kill survivors in, in walled areas where they normally can see which direction you're coming from there's other perks with the raid or add-ons rather where uh, anybody within 12 meters is highlighted which is really good for mind games. I got YouTube videos on both of those for the raid. Those are good because it, it's, it's a, those are, in my opinion, those are actually a little bit easier to use because it's easier to kill survivors with those builds. This build is essentially saying, I'm going to hide my bell, but I'm not going to hide my red stain, and I'm not going to hide... Uh, <laughs> and pretty much anything else I, I'm not going to have you highlighted but I know I'm going to get you anyway so what this so what this add-on represents so where the other builds help you with killing players faster such as hiding your red stain after you reappear or uh, having characters highlighted within 12 meters so you can play mind games this build is essentially saying I know how to do those things without those add-ons where I can get by. I really need the map pressure build. This is a map pressure build, and if you're a really good Wraith player, and you know the entire map, and you know where characters are going to go, then it's essentially saying, I don't really need those other things. I need the map pressure, and that's where you get this movement speed. And I think that's the best way to break Wraith down. All right. When I first started playing Wraith with this build, I actually didn't do too good. Because <laughs> I didn't know the maps well enough back in the day. I didn't know the map. When I first started playing mobile, when I first started playing it on the beta, all right, you know, you go on the PC version and you have all these maps and you, go, you know, beta comes out. It's the same maps over and over again. And you're like, oh, I just got to kind of remember these layouts. And it was hard for me as a Wraith in the beginning about four or five months ago because I didn't really know what the survivors were going to do. I didn't really remember the maps. I didn't remember what every little tiny thing was. You know, a lot of it carried over from PC. Don't get me wrong. But I just, I, I, I didn't remember. And so, especially with new maps being released and seeing how the mobile market adapted to it. Right, because people do quite a little bit differently on mobile because in beta there was these nasty hitboxes. I have YouTube footage of it. Me throwing a pallet down, the pallet's fully down and I'm standing there and the killer still hits me. <laughs> so mobile players adapted. It wouldn't loop as much. It would loop a little bit then throw that pallet down and keep running because of the hitboxes, right? So, but I remember struggling with this build because I just, I was, un, I was uninformed and I wasn't good enough. That's what it comes down to. And so there were other builds that helped me get better at Wraith. But when you get really good, I'd rather have the map pressure like I do now with this build. Alright, 
So, and that's a very important thing to understand about Wraith. You're either really maximizing your ability to kill a character fast, or you're maximizing your ability to move around the map very fast. Now, you can use both, but then the problem is, is after that, you don't really have your ability to silence your bell. Now, some players, they feel they're so good, they don't need to silence their bell. That's fine. But again, I do think that Wraith is a character that gets a lot better with their add-ons. There's some characters that I feel like their add-ons really don't do that big of a difference for them. You know, not all characters have uh, a good add-on. Some add-ons you kind of look at and you're like, you know, none of these are really good. Like, these are really... And then you have other characters where the add-ons are the biggest difference in the world. And that can be like Myers, uh, that includes Wraith, for example. So some characters are really relying on those add-ons, and I definitely think that Wraith is one of them. And this is a build that you can really use. Uh, the map pressure is insane with this build. Uh, you move very, very fast. <laughs> And that's really good because that means that when somebody transitions, I call it transitional chitin or transitional loop, and that makes no sense. That's why I call it transitional chitin. When you transitional kite and you move from one area to the next, Wraith is going to really, you know, lower that gap a little bit. And that's why some Wraith users will use Brutal Strength because they can take down those pallets a little bit more. Or you can use Endurin, Barbecue, and Chili. Again, there's a multitude amount of perks, but I really just wanted to demonstrate these add-ons. I think this is my... My second Wraith video, I can't remember, on the top of my head, it might even be my third. And this is a very good build, this is more of a map pressure build. You're silencing your bell, so you can at least get a little bit closer to the survivor, so you can kind of kill them. So you are doing something that's going to help you obtain that, that down, or in that dying state. But this is a map pressure build, alright? And that's the one thing that I want you guys to take away from this. Thank you very much for watching, Boo Boos. I love you. I'll see you on Twitch very soon. Thank you so much for supporting me. This has been a long journey, and I appreciate it.